What's up guys, welcome to today's video. What we're gonna be doing today is installing this dash cam uh, into the Lancer. So this was a gift actually for Christmas from my girlfriend. So Kayla, thank you so much. Can't wait to install it. And I've always talked about getting one. I just never pulled the trigger on it. So before I talk about specs and everything, uh, let's just take this thing out and take a look at it. pretty nice packaging not the greatest like but that's pretty nice packaging let's just take it out uh, first I just want to talk about how freaking small this thing is like look at my hand and like how small this is like that's pretty crazy so I like how small it is is because when you get a dash cam you don't want it to take up the whole windshield it's just so small so simple and it's not gonna take up all the space and you're not gonna really see it or notice it when you're driving. And that's really what you want. Um, another good thing about it is that other people won't notice it, so nobody's really gonna uh, try to look for stuff to take in your car. Like, oh, he has a dash cam, let me go in there and take it. Uh, I'm just, I'm not, I don't think a normal person would do that. I'm just thinking like at a robber's perspective. I guess <laughs> it actually like looks really really nice I like the design of it it's just a square it does have these buttons to control it on the side and then on the bottom here we have a spot for the SD card so let's get to talking about specs so this dash cam actually has a wide angle 140 degrees and it has a 1440p footage another cool thing about it is that it is voice controlled which is pretty cool and it has forward collision and lane departure alerts and it does come with a gps in it and it's also detected there's like an incident um, it is controlled by an app called the drive app uh, which is pretty cool because you can just look at all your videos and stuff through the app you don't have to take out the sd card and put it into your computer unless you want to save it for your own records and stuff so now that we have the specs on this Garmin dash cam, what we're gonna be doing now is actually going to the car. I'm gonna take you guys onto the GoPro and get you some point of view shots of how exactly I'm going to be installing this dash cam into my car. All right guys, so we're on the GoPro. What we're gonna do is basically make a game plan. So I got two cables with my dash cam. Um, there's like a shorter one and there's a longer one. So this is the longer one. I'm going to be using this uh, just because I want to hide the wires pretty pretty neatly so I want to make sure that um, I can I'm able to do that so I want to have as much length as possible I'm um, first thing first I'm going to take out this glove box because if we look in here I actually have two USB ports in here one of them has like a USB drive on it that I use for like movies and stuff and this one uh, is I'm not using so I'm going to plug this into here and um, I'm going to try to route it from here to um, probably try to find a way to get in there and uh, route it from here, there, to over here. So let's get started. 